Hey everyone, today I'm here to do a review on LEGO The Batman set 76179, Batman and Selena Kyle Motorcycle Pursuit. It has 149 pieces and retails for $14.99 USD. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are the main figures of the set. First up we have Batman. I'm going to briefly go over him since I already went over him in detail in the Batmobile video. But there is the front torso printing. There is the back detail. We go focus. And sadly, he gets the same old Batman Bruce Wayne face from 2012. And just like the other Batman sets in this wave, he also gets an unmasked face, which is used, reused from Harry Potter. Next up, we have Selina Kyle. This figure is not exclusive to this set. She also comes in the Batcave set, so yeah, this set's kind of an extra. You don't really have to get it. Um, she gets this little chain accessory. that's like a whip. There is her torso. Very nice printing. There is the back. I don't know if this head is new for Zoe Kravitz, but it's very cool anyways. Uh, she also gets this helmet, bicycle helmet, so when she's on her motorcycle, which can be seen in the trailer. I'll put a picture up right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool that Leo decided to include it. They didn't cheap out. So yeah, that, those are the minifigures. Before we get on to the bike, the first thing I want to go over is the bat signal. Um, this was a very uh, nice surprise. I wasn't expecting this in this set. Um, very simple build. This piece... It's kind of different. It's uh, kind of like a disc piece. This is a sticker, by the way. Um, it also glows in the dark. I'll put up the picture up right now for you guys to see. So that's what it glow. That's what it looks like in the dark. Um, on the side, you get a little weapons rack for Batman. So you get like a grappling gun, and you get the classic battering. So yeah, that's nice. So here's the first bike of the set. It's the Catwoman bike or the Selena Kyle bike because she doesn't get her name yet. On the back, as these two sets, we can put this crate. And that is a sticker, by the way. There are no printed pieces in this set, unfortunately. And inside, you get a red jewel. These pieces I've never seen before. I don't know if they're new. A very simple bike, very small minifigure scale. It's not oversized like most of the Ninjago bikes. I really like how they did this front part. I'm going to use the hinge. There are four studs in there for Selena Kyle to sit in. She can kind of she can grab the uh, joysticks right there. Put that, and she's on her way. So here is the bat cycle of the set. This can actually be seen through the set leaks online. I'll put a picture right here. Um, but this front part from pictures, it looks really bad in terms of Lego. Like it looks really blocky. But actually, once you build it, it looks really decent. They did a really good job with it, in my opinion. It doesn't look that bad they got like the, the bat little bat picture right here uh, in terms of bike structure it's built very similar to the cat one bike with these pieces um instead of using like joysticks or steering wheel, you can use a battering right here which i think is really nice four studs this is what batman looks like on the bike very simple gets the job done one of my favorite bat cycles not gonna lie so yeah i hope we get a bat pod one day Overall, I give this set a B. You don't have to spend $80 to get the Catwoman figure. You don't have to spend $30 to get the Batman figure. This $15 set, you get both of them. Another benefit is that you also get the Bat Signal, which is an included bonus. You also get extra hair pieces and extra head for the respective minifigures. The bikes aren't too bad. Um, they do have trouble standing sometimes, so just be aware of that. But overall, I think you guys would be very impressed with just this set if you were buying one from this wave. Overall, let me know your thoughts on this set, and I'll catch you all later.